Wild on the Go at the Pacific Ocean on the Oregon coast. And we're going to explore some tide pools. Let's go dive in. Check the tide table. You'll want to arrive about an hour before low tide. Watch where you step. Stay on the sand and bare rocks. Wear shoes you don't mind getting wet, like flip-flops or water shoes. Or if you're careful, you can just go barefoot. There are well over a thousand species of sea stars. They can have as many as 40 arms, but the most common sea stars have five. If they lose an arm, they can regenerate a new one, and some species can even grow a full sea star from a severed arm. Some can live up to a few decades. They are carnivores and eat such things as clams, oysters, and small fish. These are giant green sea anemones. They use their tentacles to sting and retrieve prey. They eat crabs, mussels, and small fish. If they are closed when they're under the water, they're probably eating. They close when out of the water for protection until the tide returns. The most common sea anemone is the aggregating anemone. They're packed tightly together because they can reproduce by cloning themselves. When they're under the water and open, you can see the pink tips of their tentacles. Mussels are members of clam or bivalve mollusk families. They produce a viscous adhesive that when mixed with seawater helps to strongly secure them to hard surfaces such as rocks. They eat plankton and other tiny sea creatures. Spaces between them provides protection for sea life from waves, sun, and predators. Polarized sunglasses help take the glare off the water. A telescopic camera extension pole can get close shots without disrupting wildlife or getting your feet wet. A lens cleaning cloth will come in handy to keep your camera lens clean so you'll get clean, clear shots. We hope you enjoyed our tide pool video. Please remember to comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.